Hello from my dance health studio, I'm Dr. C, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to become a dance physical therapist. Let's get started. Okay, so there are so many things that I could include in this video, um, but we're gonna hit the main points today. And this video is going to be um, targeted towards those of you who are in physical therapy school or are already a physical therapist. So step one, make sure that you are keeping in mind how the content that you're learning in your DPT program can apply to dancers. So while I was in physical therapy school, I would always take notes on the side of my notes or have a separate notebook of just how these concepts apply to dancers. So if we're talking about, you know, neuromuscular re-education, how can I use that concept and apply that to steps that dancers do? How can we use um, PNF techniques for dancers? How can we um, apply what we learn about biomechanics, um, orthopedics toward uh, what dancers need and want? And so that's really important because it's going to start your basis of what are the things that you really want to share as a dance PT? Um, what I really love about this, uh, this niche is that there is a huge need for more dance PTs, but each dance PT really has their own sort of vibe and everyone has their own energy. Everyone has their own sort of emphasis. Some people emphasize, let's learn the anatomy of what we're doing in our movements. Some people emphasize, you know, what are the exercises that we could be doing as a dancer? Some people emphasize, you know, how can we change the way that we're moving as dancers? Some people talk about a lot about the rehabilitation side of, of common injuries and how to overcome those. So it really varies across the board. And so don't feel like if you're going to become a DPT, um, a dance DPT, that the market is already saturated because everyone has their own unique voice and no one is going to create content the way that you do. No one's going to see things exactly the way that you do or present them exactly the way that you do or have your personality or have your interests, right? So um, the people that are going to end up being your clients are going to just match your vibe and everyone has a different vibe. So step one, write down your notes in DPT school because that's gonna form a basis of what you're really interested in sharing with the dance world after your PT. Okay, step number two, when you go through your clinical rotations, try to find a performing arts rotation. And I know that this is really hard to do. So ideally you can get in in a performing arts rotation. If you can't, it's totally okay. Just try to um, shadow a dance DPT. And I ended up doing this after I graduated physical therapy school. I wanted to look around and see what was out there um, and see what people were doing and if maybe there was somewhere I wanted to work. So it's a great opportunity to just kind of pick up on what their vibe is and what they focus on and what their studio is like and how they run things and what their challenges are and what um, their population is that they serve. So if you can, even just for like half a day, a half a work day, just show up and shadow with a dance DPT to kind of get an understanding of what that's like and how it's different from say sports um, outpatient. And that being said, um, I do think it's important to get experience in other um, niches as well. So I really benefited from doing a sports ortho outpatient rotation. Um, because I see dancers as athletes, as, you know, athletic performing artists, right? So um, I think that a lot of the, a lot of the tests and treatments and um, exercises that athletes are doing should be applied to dancers as well. So it's really great to kind of get out of the box that is dance world, which can sometimes be limited and expand that world by getting experience in various um, areas. Another thing that I really enjoyed getting experience in was pediatrics because there are a lot of dancers that are kids, right? And I think a lot of your um, clientele might end up being uh, pediatrics. So um, I work with dancers that are generally age 10 through 
professional dancers or even retired dancers. So it's just important that you get that span. I think a lot of parents um, feel more comfortable knowing that you have experience in pediatrics if you're going to be working with their kid. Step number three, my advice is to then get experience. So after you graduate physical therapy school, you are going to want to just be a PT for a while. And I know you probably don't like hearing that. If you're gung-ho like I am, I started my dance PT business while I was in PT school because I just knew that's what I wanted to do. And I'm crazy and ambitious like that. Um, but once I got out of PT school, I was like, you know what, there's just so much to learn still, you know, you know, the basics, but then putting it into practice is a totally different world. And another thing to keep in mind is that you're going to learn a certain set of skills at, um, at different clinics, right? So different clinics have different populations. They have different injuries that come to them. Like I worked at a clinic that was largely post-op, pre-op and sports. And that was very different than another clinic that I worked at that was very holistically based, a ton of geriatric patients, um, highly complex patients. So that's a totally different bag of skills. And so I think that it's important that you um, get a variety of experiences. And the most important thing is that you're feeling confident in yourself as a physical therapist to be able to take on treating dancers and really show up as your best. You wanna be excellent at what you do, right? So um, make sure that you are you get to the point where you feel like you've had enough experience, you've seen enough injuries where you can confidently say, you know, yeah, I can handle pretty much anything that walks through those doors. Um, and if not, I, I have resources, I have mentors, I have people that I can ask if I, um, if I need to, if I, something comes up, that's just really strange. All right. Point number four is once you feel confident in your skills as a physical therapist, you're going to want to figure out where do I want to work as a dance DPT. And there are so many opportunities for this, right? You could be studio based, you could be clinic based, you can work in a clinic that supports, um, supports their PTs following their niches and marketing their own niches and getting their own clients to come in. You could start your own dance DPT business like I did. Um, or another option of, you know, after you get some experience, you could go on to get your uh, post-doctorate certification in performing arts physical therapy, which is an option in case you don't know that. Um, I am all about that, I love that. I just didn't choose to do that because um, various reasons, it just wasn't right for me at the time. Um, as a single mom coming out of physical therapy school, I wanted to jump right into working, gaining experience and moving forward with that route. So those are your options after you get a little bit of experience um, in the DPT world is figure out where you wanna be and where you wanna stay and grow and what feels good for you, what feels right for you. You can also do a mix of these things. So I have a home-based clinic that I treat patients at and then I also go to the studios to do workshops, which is ideal for me. It's very flexible. I love working from home as a mom. And then I also just find it very spiritual to be at dance studios. It's really where my soul just is happy. Figure out what's right for you and go with that. Okay, my fifth point is really make sure that you do your research, you figure out who the studios are in your area and start making connections with the dance studio owners um, particularly as well as obviously the dancers in the area um, making in-person connections is always going to be so valuable and um, just feels right so that's the reason why i tell you to do this last is because you want to gain the confidence to be able to go to this studio and know what you're talking about and feel confident that you're going to be able to answer questions and that you're going to be able to offer value. Um, and then once you feel like you're there, go out to the clinic or go out to the studios, talk to the, just talk to the directors. Which are like, hey, I'd love to chat about, 
your studio and how it's doing and how I can support you and what I can offer, what you need, right? Listen. Um, so just set up like a one hour meeting and go meet the director and chit chat. And I'm telling you, if you meet them in person, there's no way you're not going to work with them. They're going to see the value that you have and um, your energy and just be all about it. So that's step five is really get integrated in your community. Um, meet people in person, ask them what they need, and then deliver the value that they need and want that's going to really support them in the long term. And you're going to want to market yourself. So you want to get comfortable with some marketing strategies. And um, there are a lot of details that go into that. So that being said, if you feel like you want some help with some of these steps, or if you want to deep dive into some of these steps, like what are the details of starting your own business? Um, what kind of marketing materials should I use? What sort of software do I need? What are the steps? Where do I start? Um, any other questions that you have, go ahead and click the link below. I have a, um, a checklist for you that has all the steps we talked about today, as well as my contact information. If you want to join my Dance DPT Mentoring Program, please reach out to me. I would be so happy to work one-on-one -on -one with you to help you achieve your goals and feel supported and feel encouraged in your path to becoming a dance DPT. So go ahead and click the link below and you can get my checklist for free and my contact info is there and reach out. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you can see the upcoming videos. So great to chat with you guys. Be well.